Hello everybody, my name is Raccoonbrel, and welcome back, finally, to another reaction video. Woo boy, it has been a time and a half, hasn't it? But, you know, college has got me here, holidays got me there, but I plan on making sure to avoid this situation by not only, you know, I, I did post those Death Battle Victories videos where I compiled every single ending to each death battle fight from each season, which you should totally check out, by the way. And I also plan on doing a combination of videos tonight, so that way I'll have plenty of videos to, uh, you know, record and edit and then upload over a course of time, so that way I won't be, you know, just like grasping for content here and there. But hey, we're finally getting back to Final Fantasy VII Machine Abridged. I am, it's been a, a while and I have been making sure, I've been disciplining myself not to watch these episodes until I could get back to the camera. I considered not doing that, but I'm going to stay consistent and see this through to the end. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check out the video. Okay, so just to clarify, it was Zack that went to Nibelheim? Yes, and Cloud was Ramirez. That's right. And you don't remember what happened after you beat Sephiroth. Yep. But what about you, Tifa? I like to think I just walk up and walk out of there like a boss. And now that your pass has been cleared up, we never have to worry about it ever again? More or less, yeah. Thank. And enough about my trauma. What have you guys been up to? Well, those numbskulls glad that Cloud's back. were stealing huge materia from reactors so they could blast it at Meteor. And thanks to Avalanche Time and whatever the f*** Yuffie's team name was, we grabbed most of it. Good job! High amounts of unstable energy exploding in the atmosphere doesn't sound like a good idea. Yeah, that's what I said. Nice. After we hit the underwater reactor in Junon, all the huge materia will be ours. Wait, if it's underwater... And that means we'll need... A submarine! Oh, man! I've always wanted to ride one of those! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Ooh. Yeah! Submarines rock! Submarines suck! <laughs> so slow! <laughs> you know how bad time to say I get extremely farty when I'm claustrophobic? You drop an ass bomb, I swear I'm opening a window! It'll kill us all! <laughs> well, because the reactor! Good. Beats me! Let's ask for direction! <laughs> <gasps> Somehow I get the feeling that that's one of the more hated levels from that game. Just a hunch. It is a water level, and nobody likes vehicle parts of non-vehicle games. We did it, guys! We got <coughs> all boom. the huge materia! <laughs> now what do we do? Uh... None of you had a plan for after, did you? <laughs> Honestly, it started with Shinra and just, you know, we kind of went from there. <laughs> hey, I know! Why don't we take the humongo material to Grandpa Bugenhagen? The f**k's a Bugenhagen? He told us the planet's run by ghosts. That's not a bad idea! Maybe he'll know how to stop Meteor, too! Well, whatever Bunga Baby comes up with can't be any dumber than what Shinra planned. Yeah, I mean, blowing up Meteor with huge materia? <laughs> Come on! Right? How the f**k would they even do that? <laughs> They'd use a rocket. Those. Yeah, I guess piling a rocket with huge materia and ramming it at Meteor would make sense. Mother! And if I was Shinra, I'd probably still try that without the huge materia. Girls! And I'd be like, check it out, poor people, I've got a rocket, what up? We gotta go to Rocket Town! Why, what's there? Well, hold on, Sid, we Rockets? don't know if Shinra's actually gonna do that. Uh, about that. Uh-oh. I gotta say, sir. Firing the Shinra number 26 rocket at Meteor sounds lit AF! I know, right? It's better than just letting it collect dust, right, Uncle Palmer? The northern crater is not a giant ice wall. That settles it! We're going to Rocket Town! But what about Grandpa Bugenhagen? I don't give a f about some bagel hot dog! That rocket <laughs> is my only way of achieving my dreams of reaching outer space! And I am NOT gonna let those Shinra numbskulls turn my rocket into a f***ing galactic rock crusher! Just yeah. record, I'm claiming that one for an attack name, thank you. <laughs> Alright, Sid, we'll have it your way. We'll go straight to Rocket Town. Good! That's what I like to hear. With all this huge material we're carrying, the Shinra could easily steal back. Alright, I'll drop y'all off first! Don't worry, Sid. We'll get to Rocket Town as soon as the huge materia is in a safe place. And as long as we fly through all the red lights, we'll be there in no time! I'm not sure which part of that statement I should be more concerned with. Huge mungus materia secured. Set security protocol to level Avalanche. Yeah. What did that do exactly? Oh, you'll know. Can we hurry the 
up. Cop, we got a dream to save. It would seem that time is of the essence. Yeah, but hey, I'm sure once we get to the rocket, Sid will know exactly what's going on. I have no idea yeah. what the f**k's going on. Yeah, and then the opposite Shira? happens. Maybe they got scared off by the crew. The ghost crew. Don't be a f**king ghost. ghost. Oh, there ain't no such thing as ghosts. Hello, Sid. Ghost crew! <laughs> Mission control. The f**k's going on? Where's Shinra? I'm doing great, Sid. Thanks for asking. Yeah, they were here, but they left after loading up the rocket with a Mako bomb. I'm sorry, a what bomb? Change the plans! We're shutting down this whole operation! Yeah, that's a big no can do. This rocket's been locked set on a timer. Once it hits zero, baby's gonna be blasting at a hundred miles a minute into the great unknown. Ooh, that sounds bomb! Once again, what was that about a bomb? Well, how much longer do we got to launch? Well, based on my numbers, it should be launching in T minus uh, now. Oh no! <laughs> T minus now, man. That guy was giving me some serious Vic vibes, some serious Vic vibes from I Red vs. Blue. Believe it. believe it, Sid. You did it. <sighs> After all this time, I'm the first man in space. Hide with Cloud. <gasps> This must be the Mako bomb <laughs> Mission Control was talking about. We've got to remove I love you, Yuffie. Barrett, is everything all right? I sense a disturbance. You let me take care of that. Yeah, good call. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, take care of. Now we... I... <laughs> One of my favorite jokes of the whole series. What the hell are you guys doing? We're trying to save you! Me! Get to those escape pods before we crash in the meteor! We can't just leave you behind for the zombie! <laughs> Last time, there's no one on this ship. They said, Shira, what the f are you doing here? Did you really think I was just gonna sit by and let Shinra destroy your dream? And what was your f***ing plan? Sneak on board and try to reroute the rocket's course? Do you know how f***ing hard that would be? I would have figured it out. <laughs> it's not exactly rocket science. <laughs> you, you. Aww. Beautiful science, bitch. Come on, Sid. <laughs> when we get back to Earth, I'll make you some goddamn tea. How does that sound? I fucking love you! It sounds hey, beautiful. This is oxygen tank number eight. It is? Why does it look different? Oh, I didn't tell you. It got remastered. Finally, God! I mean, a painted shitty house is still a shitty house, but you know, whatever makes you happy. <laughs> oh, you really happy? Getting this kick thing off me! Wow, Shira, I had no idea you were so strong. You must work out a lot in that basement. More like working in. <laughs> and we're in an escape pod. Goodbye, Shira. Gross. Go tell that meteor to fuck off. Yeah. And thus, the meteor has been destroyed. Wow. They're, they look like they're doing a very- they look like they're very emotional in that very moment. I can really read all of their feelings. This does- act, this part looks kinda cool though. <laughs> Wait a minute. There was no way that rocket was going to destroy Meteor. I will keep Shinra's Mako bomb here for safekeeping. Even if the rocket was filled with huge materia, I'm afraid it would not have made a difference. Well, at least we stopped it from exploding in space and causing who knows what the f*** to happen. Actually, when Mako energy is exposed in space, it- Hear that, folks? Gramps is gonna tell us about space! Well, my planet territory isn't just for sh 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 show <laughs> Yeah, sure, that's great for looking, but it's different when you've been up there. Among the shining stars. Yeah. The wondrous unknown. In darkness. As far as the eye can see. My kind of place. Sid, I know you're still riding the accomplished dream high, but we have to stay focused. We need a plan. Perhaps it would be best to change our way of thinking. Instead of trying to come up with a new plan, ask yourself, has one already been put into play? Hmm? When she went to the City of the Ancients, she said that only a Cetra could stop Sephiroth. 
I see. Cloud. Do we know any we other Cetra? I might be able to find something. Back to the city? Uh, I don't know if... It's okay, Tifa. Let's go, Bunga Bunga. Great! And if the high wind has them in scrap for parts, we can head on over! Did I just step on? Whoa, wait! Avalanche oh, security, wait. mother... Whoa, whoa, whoa. The planet is in crisis. I hear its pain. It's suffering. It cries out for one thing. Holy. Holy? Yes. The white materia. With the ultimate life magic. And perhaps our last chance at stopping Meteor. Do you know where it is? Yes, I do. But I think it would be better if I showed you. More pre rendered cutscenes. Oh, my heart. Don't do me like that. Please, Final Fantasy VII, don't do me like that. Mm. The white materia. Aerith had it all along. Whoa. Why is it glowing green? It must be sick. Cast Kiraga goggles. It is not sick, Nanaki. When the white materia glows green, it means that the planet has heard the prayers of a Cetra. That's what she meant when she said only a Cetra could stop Sephiroth. Then where is it? Why hasn't it stopped Meteor? Hmm. That's peculiar. <laughs> 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 Sorry, it's a little dry around this water wall. <laughs> but yes, Holy not coming forth to stop Meteor is concerning. Sephiroth. His will in the life stream must be stopping it. Well, sounds to me like we know what we gotta do now. Yeah. Thank you, Aerith. We won't let your death be in vain. Still feels weird. <laughs> Hello? Wow, hey, how's it going? Good news! We found a way to stop Meteor! You did? Oh, that's great news! You know, it's actually kind of funny because I wanted to give you guys some news. Oh, cool! Is it also good? Uh -oh. oh, it's... it's bad. Mm. It's bad news. I'm not looking really? forward to this. Really? Big. Bad. News. Oh, no. That's a big, big oil rig. Looks like an oil rig. Oh man, but I'm sure we'll find out more next time. Oh, let's see here. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that was Josh Tomar. Sweet. Love that guy. He's really good at blending in. Never. Never able to, never really able to tell when it's him. So, hey, yeah, man, I'm really glad that I put that off for so long because that was really good, and I'm glad that I was able to, you know, share my reaction with you guys on that. But we still have one more to go. So, please stay tuned for next time when we check out the season finale of Final Fantasy VII Machine Abridged, episode 31. So thank you all so much for joining me on this one. I hope you all have a fantastic evening. And as always, be sure to stay tuned for the next video. Take care.